Studies have shown that high intakes of dairy products, including low-fat products, appear to increase total prostate cancer risk. When someone consumes dairy products, they're ingesting estrone, progesterone, estradiol, estriol and pregnenediol, which affect their hormonal system. Recently, I heard a devastating effect that dairy can have on the body that I hadn't heard of before. So let's take a listen to this short clip from Dr. Michael Greger. This is really interesting. So uh, the leading cause for a female infertility was called anovulatory infertility, meaning that the eggs just don't ripen and release every month. And so you go the whole month where there's no possibility of fertility, no matter how well the sperm is doing, just because there's no egg to be fertilized. And you can look at what's called antral follicle count, which is basically an ultrasound where you can kind of count how many eggs women have. Um, and basically, uh, you know, once you're out of eggs, you're out of uh, fertility. And then once you're able to have an objective measure, then you could look at these women, what their diets are, and see if you can make associations. And they found a significantly lower ovarian reserve at the highest dairy intake. So the most consistent finding is that women who drank more dairy had significantly lower antral ovarian counts. Um, actually, just to give you a sense of by how much, they kind of converted it into, into biological age. And so basically, the numbers went down from 16 down to 12. 16 is what you'd see in somebody who was like a 36 or 37-year-old. And something like 12 would be something like you wouldn't see until your 50s, like a fertile 50-year-old. So, I mean, we're talking about you know, like a 13-year difference in terms of fertility in women that avoided dairy, so, uh, you know, non-dairy sources, for example. In that study, the significantly lower ovarian reserve was seen in the highest dairy intake, which equated to three ounces of cheese a day, compared to the lowest dairy intake. The researchers didn't know exactly why this occurs in the body, but hypothesised that it might be the growth factor and steroid hormones, and or the contamination of milk products by pesticides and endocrine disrupting chemicals. Studies have shown that milk contains large amounts of estrogens, progesterone and other placental hormones as they survive processing and are present in both raw, organic and non-organic commercial milk. These hormones occur naturally in the cow's body and when they get inside our bodies, get converted to estrone and estradiol, the main active human estrogens. Many people are unaware of this, and it feels like we're just not being told enough about the impact dairy has on our hormonal system. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.